Fasting is often associated with fad diets and quick weight loss, but can it actually make you healthier? Researchers are exploring ways intermittent fasting diets can treat everything from asthma and cardiovascular disease to autoimmune diseases and even chemo side effects. Here with the story is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Hi, Sumathi. Good to Hi. see you. So outside of its role in certain religious ceremonies, fad diets often call for fasting, which gives fasting a bad rap. Mm -hmm. But you're mm -hmm. saying that there's a lot of evidence now that it can actually make people healthier. We have a, a lot of intriguing studies that have looked at fasting as a way of treating, potentially treating, a whole host of different diseases. So so what are we talking about exactly when we say fasting in the, in the context of treating diseases? Yeah. It's not a starvation diet, obviously. No, so this is not you know the complete sort of abstaining from food right. and, and drink kind of diet. These are generally like, people talk, talk about them as periodic fasting and they're very low calorie diets. So it's usually you know, eating anywhere from 500 calories to 1100, depending on the diet, uh, a few times a week or a few times a month. Right, okay. So. Let's look at some of the ways it seems to be helping different patients. So multiple sclerosis patients have been showing some improvement on a fasting diet, correct? This is very new research. New there research. There was a study right. published by just earlier this month, and it was using both mice and humans, and it found in the mice that most of them were 100% uh, were re re reduced symptoms, and 20% of them actually had eliminated MS symptoms. Interesting. That was pretty conclusive evidence. And what um, about the human? The humans was a group. pilot study, so they're doing a larger study now, but they also showed a reduction in symptoms, and it was a very severe diet. It was like 300 to 400 calories a day for about a week. So now um, that's they realize that's not feasible for the average person or right. the average MS patient. So they want to redo that using a higher calorie amount. And what is actually happening? There seems to be a regeneration of good cells and a, an elimination of bad cells. So yeah, so in the, with the MS patients, um, the mechanism is believed to sort of kill the autoimmune T cells, which are the ones that are sort of damaging the spine, and then regenerating new healthy cells, which um, for MS patients is good for in terms of uh, nerve damage. Absolutely. And now there is some research looking into whether the, this intermittent fasting can actually help cancer patients as well, correct? Yeah, so there's been am animal studies that have found that um, periodic fasting can reduce symptoms with chemotherapy, and there's some evidence that it could also potentially kill fewer cancer cells and protect the healthy cells. So now they're in the midst of clinical trials with humans, and some of that work should be published very soon. That sounds very promising. Let's yeah. talk about some of the specific diets that are out there right now. I know there's one called the 5 to 2 diet. Is that how you s Yeah, so that's one of the fad ones you hear about a lot. Yeah. Although at the National Institutes of Health, that's the one they use a lot. And it's basically a week of, um, in, a, in your average week, there will be two days in that week where you'll restrict your calories to about 500 and the rest of the week you're eating normal. You're eating normally. You're not overeating to compensate for the calories you missed on those two days, no, right? No, no. <laughs> you're just eating normally. Yeah. And that's shown to have benefits even for people that aren't suffering from a various disease. Yeah, so that's, they've used that there for asthma and for mm -hmm. some of the cancer studies and other things. And the other big diet um, that some researchers in California are doing, this, these are the ones who did the MS study, is um, they call it a fasting mimicking diet. So you're fasting just for five days in a whole month. Right. And there's also something called the Pro-Lawn Diet. So that's based on this fasting mimicking diet. Okay. It's a commercial product that just just launched recently. But you need a prescription for it. Yes, correct? prescription only okay. at the moment. Okay. Um, and it's it's what I'm talking. It's, it's that five day a month diet. Right. Where you're reducing calories. I think it's about 1,100 the first day, and mm -hmm. then seven to 800 the following four days. So yeah. is there any indication that for a relatively healthy person like you or me, there might mm -hmm. be some advantages to a fasting diet every now and again? I mean, it's not a benefit of all these. Of all, anytime you do this for any conditions that you do lose weight. Right. <laughs> so in that sense, yes. Right. But in general, they say it's really for people who, I mean, if you're trying to prevent diabetes or cardiovascular disease or, you know, any of those things, this could be beneficial. Could be. It always sounds like a good idea and I can never quite pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> Sumathi, thank you so much for, for sure. that.